Yo, good morning guys. So today, I'm heading to one of the most iconic snowboard factories in the world, the Capita Mothership. What makes the Mothership so iconic is the production in Austria, the use of clean energy, most importantly, this is where they make snowboards like the Horoscope, the Black Snowboard of Death, and the most popular snowboard on Earth, the Capita DOA. Okay guys, so it all starts here with the history of Capita Boards, the motto, everything is possible. The thing that's really inspiring to me is the crew of snowboarders who started out with the love of riding and then started making boards, which has developed into this. So we got the guys here over a decade ago, starting out making Capita. So in here guys, we've got all the raw materials that go into the Capita boards. There must be dozens, if not hundreds of materials going into the complete line. The warehouse is special because all the boards start out as raw materials. They go into the factory and then they come out as finished Capita snowboards. And today we can actually show you a few boards that are special for this season. All right guys, so this is where it all starts with the wood core. And we got wood cores and wood cores and more and more. So a lot of the material comes on all these rolls on pallets before going into the boards. The next room we're heading into, we're gonna see how the wood core of the snowboard is milled. So a unique thing here is the combination of printing techniques for the board graphics between digital and also screen printing. I think this printing process really brings the artwork to life of the boards. So guys, in this room, this is where the art gets pressed into the base material. So if you have a centered base, the printed graphic gets pressed with heat into the centered base material. So in this room, guys, we got the die cuts being cut for the base. We have the metal being bent for the edges and the base being prepared as well.
Here we have a lot of the materials that go into the board. So we have the fiberglass and also a lot of the carbon stringers that will go into the boards. So guys, in snowboard magazines, you read a lot about stringers, carbon. So this is what they put in the boards to give it more stability, more pop. And it's really cool to get a visual of what it actually is and what's going inside of your snowboard. So this is some carbon for the Super Doa. This next room is where a lot of the pieces of the boards come together, get pressed, and start to really look like a snowboard. So next we're on our way to test some boards. We've got three tests, the wobble test, the slap test, and then a third test where they try to pull out the inserts. So let's go take a look at that. All right guys, so we're on the roof of the mothership now. One thing to point out is that there's a lot of natural light panels that help to bring light into the factory without using a lot of electricity. Also, the clean energy core of the mothership brings in water from the river and then draws the heat from the water, helping to heat the building, but also in the process of pressing the boards. Then the water goes back out cleaner than it came in. There's plans in the works to install solar panels and they also take scrap wood from the boards and give it to local farmers. So a plant that is trying to be as clean as possible and use the least amount of waste. We're ending the video off where we started, this time with all the finished snowboards. And it's incredible to see the process. The raw materials go from just being products on a shelf, through the manufacturing, and then to the final board ready to be ridden and shipped out all over the world. If you guys have any questions, hit me up down in the comments and make sure to subscribe because I'll be testing a lot of these boards on snow here in Austria. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun with the snowboarding. We'll see you in the next one soon. Special board reveal for the upcoming season. We got the return of the party panda. <laughs>